JFrog Artifactory. What is JFrog Artifactory? JFrog Artifactory is usually referred to as Universal Binary Repository Manager. I know it's a mouthful to say. It's the cornerstone of the technology at JFrog. It's a way for you to store the builds you create, the things that were used to create that build, files, configuration files, you name it. Basically, it's an artifact management system or a binary management system. And that binary management system becomes the central hub for all the things that you create as an organization, all the software you create. And we understand that a majority of the companies out there have their own types of software development life cycles, their own CI tooling, all those things that make up the software development experience that companies use and enjoy. And using Artifactory as a centralized hub allows you to manipulate and store the artifacts that you create. The third-party transit dependencies, both direct and indirect, proxying those requests from those developers or your tools to those third-party sources. So this way it allows things like accountability. On top of that, and also audibility. But in addition to that, it allows you to look at things that there are an issue, like blast radius and root cause analysis. It's a centralized method for you to store the things that you build and the things that you use to create that. And we understand there's also tons of different technologies out there. We support over 32 different package types from standard software languages like NPM, uh, Conan, uh, Nougat with C Sharp, uh, you know, Fran and R for data scientists, uh, Docker images, Helm charts, uh, Terraform repositories, you name it. And we even have generic for things that we don't have a normal place for, a normal type, but allows you to utilize that in such a way that you can manipulate Artifactory to work within the confines of your organization. It can be deployed anywhere, whether it's self-hosted in your own data center, in the cloud, it can be managed by us through our quote-unquote SaaS offering. I don't like to say SaaS because the thing is you can choose your cloud provider, GCP, Azure, AWS, and we maintain it for you. Also, too, the limitless ecosystem that is out there for every software organization. Every single organization that we deal with is different and chooses tool sets to appropriate for that. So things like different CI tooling, different CD tooling, continuous distribution or continuous integration. And it allows you to go ahead and use a centralized methodology. I always like to say that Artifactory is a nice foundation or a conveyor belt for the manufacturing of your software. And you can use different tool sets to manipulate and do the things that you do as an org, but have us as a consistent base method behind it. And understanding that is one of the key components is the fact that software organizations, 90%, 99% of the organizations of the Fortune 100 use open source software. Almost everybody uses open source software out there, especially for those third party packages for say software development. And the thing is that 85 to 90% of those software that you know companies build is made up of these free and open source packages. And this allows you to retain them so that you can have a way that's common. So in other words, if you have a thousand developers all building, say, a project, and they use a common set of libraries between them, this allows a layer of consistency to that, so that all the developers use the same packages all along. When it goes to CI tooling, it's the same packages. But it's a way to maintain those software packages inside of Artifactory that's one of the key core components. And the thing is, is that DevOps teams, we talked about DevOps as, as you know, in general, so it's development and operations. Artifactory fills that, that gap between the CI and the CD, between the development of software and, and its delivery. It provides a place to store and manipulate and manage all the libraries, binaries, artifacts that companies build, use, and produce. It allows you to have the idea of the SDLC, Software Development Lifecycle, right? Dev, QA, staging, and production. It allows you to create and publish builds into Artifactory for accountability and manipulate and publish those builds and promote them. Uh, the promotion API we have allows you to promote builds from dev to QA and staging, and it's all accumulated based on metadata because one of the key components behind it, and you'll find out in further parts of, the, of this tutorial, is the way that artifacts are stored. It's done via a checksum-based approach. We have an entire module based on the checksum-based storage itself. But the basic core component behind this is, is a SHA-256 value that represents the actual binary that's uploaded into Artifactory. And then it's distributing some metadata in our database for the product. The database allows you to have more information about the actual artifact itself, the binary itself, and allows you to add more metadata. On top of that, it's a good way for companies to have the accountability that they need to produce solid competitive software. There's a reason why 
JFrog is the top of the tool chain in most organizations. And on top of storing these libraries, the accountability aspect alone is a major portion of this that we see with organization. And the thing is, is the artifact is an artifact repository, like I said, allows you to create completely and fully traceable builds. Everything you produce in the CI system or developer builds can be published into Artifactory so you have accountability on how it was created, what was used to create it, how did it do in during the software development lifecycle because you could add more metadata for each of those stages so you have a complete story of everything you've done. If you need to search for artifacts, everything is highly searchable and accountable in that respect. And also, too, it allows you to manipulate artifacts, move them around, you know, take, you know, take audits based on them. Uh, be able to go in and manipulate the information on those libraries so they become more relevant to the organization. On top of that, if you have more than one location, you could have multiple instances of Artifactory for replication, which you'll find out about in future modules. Replication is a huge thing for us because we have a lot of organizations, over 7,500 global customers utilize us, and replication is a key factor here. Being able to attribute is you have a large global development organization and you provide accountability and consistency in those organizations. It's fully flexible in the way it's actually uh, can be utilized. So what's great is it works with the way the customer wants to work with the actual product. It fits into the way they do their thing. Every software company is different. On top of that, but it still provides a single source of truth. Rich metadata that we have inside of Artifactory is essential. It allows you to say, did it pass QA testing? Sure. Did we know what components were used to build it? Here's a list of all the dependencies that were part of it. Where is it currently right now? How many things have I produced, say, in development that have made it to production? There's all these things that you, know, that you have when you do software development, and it allows that accountability that most companies desperately crave. We provide a solid foundation of trust for these organizations, too. You can create policies on access controls and things like that. You can go ahead and, and, and organize the, you know, the software development lifecycle and the process using us as that core component, that key consistency method that companies desperately need. And on top of that, the flexibility to be able to be built, deployed, and used anywhere that a company wants, whether they're in air-gapped environments, say in a regulated industry, uh, it can be utilized as a way for companies to move from, say, uh, their data centers to the cloud. We hear digital, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, a lot of these digital, uh, initiatives that companies are doing, we become a core piece of it because it allows companies to build software the way they're building it now and future-proof software development that they want to achieve or go to in the future. So Artifactory is an amazing core component of consistency and accountability for organizations across the board. And there's a reason why we're chosen by most software development organizations just because of the solid reliability that we have. In the future modules, we'll be breaking down more pieces of Artifactory and actually the core platform um, that we offer as a solution. 